Business has never been this good for property broker Pearl Mose. She says the Philippine government's anti-corruption drive and economic reforms have increased investor confidence and led to a boom in many sectors, including the housing market. The real estate trend now is moving towards the affordable or the low-cost housing. So because we have a good economy, the regular people can now buy their own homes. And the, in this way, in the future, they could feel the economic growth. But the economic gains aren't trickling down fast enough for many Filipinos. The unemployment rate has dipped over the last few years, but at 5.8 percent, it's still the highest in the region. Progress has been uneven despite a rise in GDP, and there aren't enough jobs to go around, which leaves millions of Filipinos looking for work abroad. There are also long festering social problems such as traffic congestion, a lack of basic services and having to deal with too much red tape. Frustrated and angry, many people here are calling for change in the upcoming elections. Leading the race for president is Rodrigo Duterte, a tough-talking mayor known as the Punisher. He calls himself a pragmatist who makes no apologies for his questionable human rights record. Duterte vows to wipe out crime and corruption in six months. But his lack of an economic plan has business leaders nervous. They say they'd rather see a continuation of the current government's policies, which is what Mar Rojas, the ruling party's candidate, promises to do. But Rojas is trailing in the polls. Some analysts say the economy will do well regardless of who wins. Certain fundamentals are in place, and therefore we will continue to see uh, 5 to 6 percent growth, uh, who, no matter who gets elected as president. And I said these are the fundamentals uh, which are really, uh, really very low inflation, um, healthy account surplus. Ultimately, analysts say investor confidence goes hand in hand with political stability. So whoever becomes the Philippines' next president will have to address the country's underlying social problems to maintain its economic gains. Marga Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.